All right, makeup geeks, I have a naturally glam makeup look for you guys today. Now, this is not a five-minute video, just so you know. This is obviously going to be a process to get to yourself to this glamorous state. I like to focus a lot on the skin and the lashes because that's what's going to give you that very flawless look, but not be over the top because we're not using a ton of shadows. I did use some lashes. I'd smudge a little liner along here, but I feel like this look is something you could wear every day if you wanted to because it's still very glamorous, but it looks natural if that makes sense. Does it make sense? I hope so. <laughs> so this is the final look. Let's get started on it. All right, you guys, to so start off our naturally glam look, yes, I'm going to pin my hair back, and no, I'm not pinning it all back because you guys know I have extensions, and it hurts like hell to put it in a ponytail. Every time I put it in a ponytail, within an hour of getting to work, I rip it out, and it's just messy hair because I can't deal with it. It hurts. <laughs> so let's tackle these eye bags, shall we? Let's start with that first. I'm going to use one of them that I'm working on. Do you guys see how it's almost, it's actually running out? I got to call the lab soon and be like, so I need to test it some more. Can I have another one? <laughs> These were hoping to launch um, October. So I will let you guys know as soon as we find out. I'm still waiting for the packaging. So as always, I keep you guys updated. But we're going to put this right under the eyes to hide those bad boys. Okay, the key to hiding your dark circles, you guys, is to get an orange-based concealer, and you want it to be darker than your skin. I know that's opposite of what everyone else says out there, but I swear it works. If you go lighter than your skin, you would think that it brightens the area, but it doesn't actually cover the dark circles because the dark circles generally are darker than your skin, so your concealer has to be even darker than that. Does that kind of make sense? Enough blabbing on that. <laughs> I just realized, you guys, how pasty I am today. I didn't spray tan last night because I didn't have time. I was just too tired. I'm like, what? Whatever, I don't care. So I'm literally like this color today, but we're going to roll with it. I'm going to make this work. <laughs> All right, the foundation I'm going to use is the Derma Blend one that I did a hot new products video with it. I'm loving it so far. The color I'm going to use today is Linen, which is, you know, code for very light. <laughs> so we're going to put some of this. And I like to mix my foundations because this one is more um, like dewy, satiny finish. And then my Estee Lauder one is my go-to. This is more of a matte finish, so I like to have kind of an in-between. So I'm going to put a little bit of both on here. Just put some down your neck. My neck is really, really light, so I'm going to have to darken it up just a hair because my chest is darker than my neck. Okay. Take your Beauty Blender, wet it, squeeze it out so it's just slightly damp and it's nice and fluffy. And you guys are just going to... Blend this out. And you can just pat it like this. And you want most of the foundation. Do you see how I'm putting most of it in the center of my face? And then as I go outwards, you want it to thin out so that way you don't have this harsh line of foundation. Okay, now that I look like sickly and kind of like a sheet right now, we're going to add some color back into my skin. I'm going to take the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. And the trick to applying powder, now if you guys have dry skin, I wouldn't put a lot of powder on, if any, at all. You could just leave it like this where it has kind of a satiny, dewy finish. But for me, I like matte skin, and as we get into summer, I get a little bit more oily. So the trick is to take a thin sponge like this, and you want to just pick up a light layer of powder. You want the most minimal powder possible. So what I'm going to do is you literally just push it into the skin, just pat it. And do you see how it kind of mats it out and it sets everything, but it doesn't look cakey because I'm not putting a lot of powder. Do you see how I just did one, um, one dip into the powder, did this whole part of my face. I'm going to dip again and I'm literally, I start under the eyes because I like to set that concealer, put most of the powder in the center of your face and then with what's left, then you pat out. Okay, now we're going to start contouring just a little bit. I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It's the one in this little box here. It's a little bit warm for contour powder, but not bad at all. I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Angled Stippling Brush. I swear by this brush for getting a soft, natural contour because it gets right under the cheekbones. So what I like to do is angle it up like this, find your cheekbone, and literally just go under it like that. And since this is a warm contour powder, I'm almost going to use it as a bronzer where I'm going to come up the cheeks a little bit, if that makes sense. So it's like a contour slash blush. So come up. 
Okay, now we can do the blush. Did you see how that kind of added color to my face? I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Bliss Blush. It's a really soft peach color, it's matte finish. I'm gonna apply this just above that bronzer. Right here on the cheekbones. Okay, now we're gonna do the highlight last because I want to touch up under the eyes a bit. That's why I did just a very thin layer of powder because now I can highlight on top of it. But if you guys have problems with it caking up under here, you could skip the powder under the eyes and wait until you put your highlighter on. I'll show you in a second. Let's do the brows. I'm gonna use the Lancome. I use two brow pencils. I use a darker one for the bottom and then a lighter one for the top. So for the bottom, I'm gonna use the Lancome Brow Expert in dark brown. And then for the top, I'm gonna use Anastasia and Taupe. So all I do, you guys, is I just, where's my mirror? Cannot see worth shiznit today. You guys know me. I can't have my mirror that's sitting here on the desk too close up because then it's in frame and you guys just see this like big circle mirror. So I have to push it back. But then when it comes to like detailed stuff, I'm like, can't see. Okay, we're going to draw it right under the brows to create that crisp line. Now take the lighter one and you're just going to fill in any bald spots you may have. That sounds really fun. Any bald spots you've got, fill those suckers in. So we're gonna put it, I have a bald spot right there. So I like to fill the outer part of my brow a little bit. And as I come in, I like to leave it more barren so it doesn't look harsh, like you have this harsh line right here. So most of the color, again, is gonna go on the outer part of your brow. Okay, so once all of that is filled in, I just take a spoolie and I kind of brush my brows, but they're cray cray, they have a mind of their own. I swear my brows have wings, they fly off, they're just all over the place. So what I like to do is take the Benefit Give Me Brow and I get the lighter one in light medium because my brows are so dark and my skin is so fair that the contrast can look very harsh sometimes. So I like to either lighten them with bleach or I take a lighter brow product and I put it on top to try to get them to lighten a little bit. So I'm gonna brush that through. Okay, now we're gonna set down our base for our eyes. Now, most of the thing about natural glam, it's gonna be all about skin and lashes, so we're gonna focus on that. But I still wanna do just a little bit of eyeshadow. Again, we'll, you know, we'll keep it neutral, obviously. What I'm doing is taking a soft dome brush and Max Paint Pot, and I'm just putting a light layer down. Usually I use my fingers, but I want a really light layer so it's not too thick. Okay, now what I want to do is create a natural shadow here on the eyes. Did you hear that whistle? It was like, shadow. <laughs> I'm going to take a soft dome brush like this. I'm going to go in with baby face. Hold on, I'm going to try to hold it up for you guys. Baby face is a very light kind of tanny color. If you have darker skin, you're going to want to use a couple shades darker. I would go with like Barcelona Beach. You could do um, latte, hipster, anything that's a couple shades darker than your skin. And we're just going to create a very natural shadow in here just to make the eyelids pop. But again, we want to keep this very natural. So use a soft dome brush. Same brush now. Wipe it off really well. Go in with a color that's close to your skin. For me, it's Beaches and Cream. And all I'm doing is coming up here under the brow bone. Actually, you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna make that pop just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with White Lies. It's stark white. I'm actually using a new formula. This one's gonna launch in August. It's a uh, improved version of it. I'm gonna put this just under the brow bone just to kind of make it pop a little bit. Okay, do you guys see, I'm gonna look in the second camera. Do you see how it has a natural shadow? So it really doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of makeup. It just looks like you have a natural shadow, but look how the lids pop more because you have the shadow above it. So the lids now are gonna re come forward and pop a bit more. Okay, now we're gonna take a black liner. You want to darken your lash line and keep it really close to the lashes just so it looks like your lashes are just thicker. It's an illusion, it's really not, it's just black liner. So take any black eyeliner pencil, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear one, and we're just gonna smudge this along the upper lashes. I'm gonna start halfway, I don't like to come all the way in because then it starts losing its natural look. 
and I'm going to come out to the edge of the lashes and bring it up just a little bit. Okay, now to soften this liner, because again, we don't want it too harsh. We want it to be very natural. You're going to take a brown shadow. Don't do black because then it just intensifies it and makes it look too dark. You want a brown. I'm going to use a Bada Bing shadow and the Makeup Geek pencil brush because it's really, really small. And it stays close to the lash line. So all I'm going to do, you guys, is put it on top of the liner and bring it slightly up. I'll show you in a second. So let's put it here. Again, don't go in too, too far. And then you could switch to a little bit larger brush. This is a Haku Hodu one. It's just a little bit larger than a pencil brush. You could use the MAC 219 too. You're gonna take it dry and literally just buff out above that. You could even go in with a lighter brown shadow like, um, which one I use, Latte? Do you see it's a little bit lighter brown? You could take that and come up a little bit just to kind of soften it. Okay, do you guys see how a lot of the color and the darkness is still on the lash line and then it fades as it goes up? That's what you want. Now I'm going to pick up some more of that dark brown shadow and the same uh, pencil brush. And we're just going to put a little bit under the lower lash line. I know what you're thinking. You're like, wait, this isn't staying natural. You want to have at least a little bit of color under here so your lashes don't disappear. And it makes you look kind of tired, actually. So you need a little bit of shading and a little bit of darkness right against that lash line. So what I'm doing, sorry I'm not showing you guys, smudging it under here. Wipe off the brush, go in with a latte, which is a little bit lighter brown, and go underneath that so it softens it. Okay, now what you guys can do is touch up under the eyes a little bit. Take a thin concealer. I like the Maybelline Fit one because it comes in a wand so it's really easy to apply and it's very thin. So what I like to do is just a very light layer like this. This is now where you can start to brighten the eyes. I always do this after my makeup in case you get any fallout. You can kind of use this to clean up as well. Take a very soft dome brush. This is the It Cosmetics number 105. And all I'm doing, you guys, is very lightly laying this on top. I'm just buffing it out to kind of brighten everything up. Wipe off that brush really, really well, and I'm going to go in with White Lies, which is a really, obviously it's pure white shadow. <laughs> We're going to use this to set it just very lightly again, light layers so it doesn't cake up. And all I'm doing is brushing it on top of my cheekbones and under the eyes to kind of highlight that area in a natural way. So we're not doing, you know, cream so it's super harsh. We're just doing a light layer of powder. Okay, now we can put our little bit of pigment on the lid. This step is optional. If you guys don't want to do this step, you don't have to. But what I like to use is something very soft, not too shimmery, but still gives a little shine to the lids. I'm going to use Makeup Geek Afterglow pigment. It's so beautiful. Let me show you guys. Do you see how it has just a little bit of shine, but it's very soft, it's not over the top, it just adds a little bit of glow to the eyes so it makes you look a little less tired. Take a flat stiff brush, pick some up and kind of squish it in the lid, tap off the excess because we don't want to put on a ton. All I'm going to do is pat it here near the inner corner, so just like this, and then kind of sweep it on the lid. Okay, now to open the eyes a little bit, you could take a nude, ah, uh, just broke off. Hold on, I gotta sharpen it. Let's try that again. We're gonna put this in the waterline. <laughs> you wanna use nude and not white because white can look harsh and unnatural, but nude, all it really does, you guys see this eye versus this one? See how it just opens my eyes a little bit more? Okay, now from here, you guys can just put on your mascara or you could do individual lashes if you want. I'm going to put on lashes even though I know that's borderline not really natural anymore. But if you choose some that have an invisible base, I love the Ardell um, Invisibands because the base of them is clear. And if you t attach them directly to your lashes, it really does look like your own lashes. Just really thick, obviously. So I'm going to apply those. Uh, measure them to your eye. I like to trim off a little bit off the edge so they aren't too, too long. And then I just take my lash glue, where is it? 
there we go. I use the dual one in dark and you just put a layer of the glue on the lashes. Okay, so light layer of glue on there, take some tweezers. You're gonna fan these and let these get to where they're tacky. You're gonna let it, the glue sit for about a minute. Okay, it's been about a minute and the glue got a little bit darker, so all you guys have to do is set the lashes directly on your natural ones. Flip the tweezers, actually, sorry, take the edges. Let's press those down first. And take the edge of your tweezers and press them in so they stick right on your natural lashes. Okay, now that that whole process of lashes is over, but again, if that's too dramatic for you guys, you can obviously skip it. Just apply mascara. I love the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I've been using this for years and years and years and years because I'm that old. <laughs> All I'm doing is putting a layer of that and putting most of the color down at the base, swiggle it and sweep. So they separate them nicely. Okay, now the final step is the highlight and the lips, which will be really, really easy. I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan Candlelight Highlighter. I take the Makeup Geek Cheek Stippling Cheek Highlighter Brush. Did you see all of that stuttering just happening right there? I had a complete brain fart, as usual. <laughs> We're gonna put this just on top of the cheekbones. I do this last, you guys, because of all of the under eye hideage. <laughs> we gotta take care of that first, so the highlights last. All I'm doing is sweeping this right here on top of the cheekbones. And then for the lips, really easy. My favorite natural looking one right now is the Kate Moss one by Rimmel. It's number 14, and it's just like your natural lip color. So, da 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 there you go. You have a natural glam. So it looks like you're not wearing a ton of makeup. Obviously, you were wearing some, but it looks very natural. This is something you could wear every day to work if you want to still be glamorous, feel sexy, feel great about yourself, but not feel over the top. So hope that gives you guys some ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Makeup Geek TV. Click on the links below for all the information and everything I use. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. We're going to do some close-up shots. Ready for this? No one else to do. Best sharpener out there, this Sephora one, dual-ended one. Works amazing. Mm -hmm.